thank you for joining me. Today I'm going to be discussing doing the log roll exercise on the foam roller. So we've already been doing lots of exercises on the foam roller and it stands to reason that we would finally come to that point in time where we're going to get our feet on here. So I'm not sure if you would want to necessarily have your foam roller on your mat. I'm going to just because hardwood floors can be very slick. So I'm going to want to have a little bit of extra grip. Also, you notice I've set myself up right here by my wall. I am not very good at the log roll. And so, uh, so I'm going to have help from my wall. And that's cool. Whatever it takes for us, right? So get yourself set up. Have Make sure your foam roller doesn't have any sort of dents or dings to it. So it's a nice, smooth, easy to roll foam roller. Get it set up. You're going to come to a standing position on it. So Pilates style, one foot on. Let's inhale here. Exhale. Draw the belly button to the spine. Push down with your standing leg while you get your other foot up. Now, very slowly and carefully, we're rolling. My left foot comes back to help roll it forward. Belly button to the spine, breathing throughout. Then step down and you're done. Now, in terms of benefit of this, Nothing challenges your balance on the roller quite like this. You have to be standing on a rounded, somewhat soft, moving surface, um, keeping your core engaged, keeping yourself upright. In terms of how it'll feel on your feet, I think for anybody with uh, feet that can accept normal amounts of pressure, I don't think you're going to feel a big difference in this roller. It's not going to provide like a massage or anything for your feet per se. I hope you have enjoyed this video on log roll with the foam roller. If you have, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Also, you can find me on Facebook, Pinterest, and at www.custompilatesandyoga.com. Thank you.